Navigating Politeness and Formality in Global Communication Hello learners! In today's session, we're going to tackle a very important subject, politeness and formality in different cultures. Understanding this will greatly enhance your telephone and video call etiquette when interacting with people from different parts of the world. So, let's dive right in. When we talk about politeness and formality in language, we're referring to the set of spoken or written rules and conventions that show respect, deference, and consideration towards others. This can be through the choice of words, tone of voice, or even sentence structure. Remember, politeness and formality can vary greatly from one culture to another. In high-context cultures like Japan or Saudi Arabia, language tends to be indirect and the meaning is often derived from the context. Politeness is often expressed through implication, and the listener is expected to understand the unstated. On the other hand, in low-context cultures like the USA or Germany, communication is usually direct, and the intended meaning is contained mainly in the words used. Now, let's look at some specific cultural examples. 1. Japanese. In Japan, the language is layered with formality and respect. They use different verb forms to indicate varying degrees of politeness. For instance, you would use the polite form, deizu, and masu, when speaking with superiors or strangers. 2. French. In France, using formal pronouns like Vu, instead of the informal, too, can show respect when talking to strangers or superiors. 3. American. In the United States, communication is usually direct and informal. However, polite language is still important, particularly in professional settings. This might include phrases like, could you? or, would you mind? The tone of voice is another critical component of politeness and formality. For instance, in some cultures, a softer voice is considered polite, while in others, a firm and assertive tone might be the norm. Always consider the cultural background of your listener when choosing your tone. And that wraps up our discussion on politeness and formality in different cultures. Remember, Understanding these aspects of communication can greatly enhance your interaction with people across the globe. So, keep practicing and stay tuned for more insightful sessions. See you next time!